YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for joining. So today, as promised, we're going to discuss um, with you guys how, I guess, you know, the first time that we got, I want to say caught, but not so much caught because we weren't doing anything wrong, but found, I guess found out um, by every by people we know about what we decided to do going get into this industry. So yeah, we're going to run you through all well, of that. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so from our last video, we spoke about what? What did we speak about? Haunted <laughs> <laughs> uh, our parents, wasn't it? So like also, why we did it, yeah. and, and stuff like that, and where we were at. So we would have mentioned that we started off doing chatterbait. Yeah. Um, and before that, we done Pornhub. So we started doing Pornhub, then we jumped done Chatterbait. Chatterbait was what got us found out, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. That was the first thing that people. Yeah, we started. Which is we... random because I didn't think that we'd get caught on Chatterbait. No, I didn't think it was going to be that. I thought it was going to be for Pornhub. Yeah, yeah I thought it was going to be for Pornhub. Um, I think when we started doing what we did, um, we sort of. We knew we would get found out, but it's a case of like, well, let's cross that bridge when we get to it, rather than sort of trying to tell everybody, by the way, guys, we're about to start doing porn and have all of those kind of questions. We thought we'd rather just do it, get somewhere with it, wherever that somewhere may be. And then once people find it, we can then address the concerns or questions or comments that we may get at that point. So I think when we started doing it, I thought like, I reckon we've got about six to eight yeah, months before, like, like, yeah, six yeah. to eight months before we get seen. Yeah, a little period of time that we could just do us. Yeah, <laughs> go under the radar, caught. not get caught. Um, a bit of a, in, a bit of statistics for you on Pornhub. Pornhub generates about eighty million hits a day, so there's eighty million impressions going through that site daily. So there's lots of traffic coming through it day in day out. That's what we thought we'd, we'd get found. On, on Pornhub. Yeah, but it was it was Chatterbait that got us. It got so us if anyone doesn't cam. know what Chatterbait is, it's a, I'd say it's like an open camming website. So anyone can log onto the site and watch the cam, models yeah. perform, the cams yeah. perform. Um, but there are dedicated people to want to see more of the show so that they can tip and probe you to do stuff that they would like to see yeah for their so satisfaction it's, it's free to everybody to go and use but if you want to engage with the you with the with the cam artist or if you want to um get them to perform in a certain way or do certain things yeah you have to you have to sort of spend money to do so so um and for us and like it's an american camming, it's an american site we was the only like English couple at that yeah. point on the site. So we just thought, oh, it's very American based. We've done it of an evening. Didn't mm. really expect there to be that many UK people on there, but yeah, there was, a, there, there was a couple of people, wouldn't there, that would say, oh, we're from, we're from South yeah. End or we're from Essex. And yeah, like, well, that's, like, yeah. that's quite close. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, um, we thought that, you know, we'd have a bit of time. Uh, Chatterbait kind of, we didn't start ch Chatterbait until January um, of 2019. And um, it was in February of 2019. So we'd only been on the site a month, <laughs> like at this point, when someone then um, sent me a text message. And this was someone that I knew uh, relatively well. Like I'd only known them for a couple of years at this point, but I got on well with them. I networked with them through my previous job. Um, they was in the same industry at that my, of my previous job, not my, my current work. Um, he, um, this guy was someone that I, I worked with, uh, networked with quite closely. So he had sent me a text message randomly one night saying, when you're halfway through a <laughs> and you, uh, you, you, you realise it's your mate. So that was like, right, okay, we've now been seen. So I sort of probed questions and it, it hadn't come from him. He he had been told the inf he had been told that we was on it, um, and it was someone else that we know again, also within that industry, who had was seen. A, it. I think quite a fan of Chatterbait. Yeah, quite used it quite regularly. And obviously from Chatterbait, we talk about that we were on the hub, and yeah. So that person then would have would have found us. Yeah, this person who um, messaged me went to Jess's school um, and was in Jess's, was, she, was he in your year? No, so he was a couple of years below me. Um, but 
I don't want to say it was like popular at school, but like obviously it feels like obviously with social media that everyone sort of stays connected and it felt like with this that I was back in the school playground, like it just sort of spread like wildfire. Like so then one of my close friends messaged me saying, oh, are you now a P-star? And I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? How has she found this out? <laughs> yeah. And she thought it was a joke. Like she literally was like, I thought it was a joke. And then they sent me the like picture of you. She was like, and, and it was you. <laughs> <laughs> so then I thought, right, now she's found out, I need to tell my other close friends. So I told my other close friends, got it out there. And um, they were quite funny. They messaged back, one of them messaged back saying, um, like sent me a picture of a really old lady and was like, as long as you know when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite funny. They took it, you know, all right, as yeah, I, as think I thought they would. We, I, I then took it upon myself to tell my closest friends um, and just sort of, you know, tell them. I rung them up. I remember driving in the car one day and I sort of rung them up and I said, look, you know, I've known one of my closest friends I've known for over 20 years and I, I sort of said to him, I said, look, um, you're going to hear about it. So I'd rather you hear it from the horse's mouth, but me and Jess, um, we do porn. And he was he was just like, right, cool, you, you do what you've got to do, mate. You know, he was, he was like, all my friends were, they couldn't have been more supportive yeah. and, and didn't change in the slightest how they... Felt about you. Yeah, you know, how they felt or how they treated me or responded to me in any way, which was really, really nice. Like, you couldn't have asked for a better response, really, from... from from friends really and it kind of cemented that they are actually genuine friends rather than like yeah you know who someone someone who, who would who would we always you. went by the mindset if someone is annoyed with what we do or upset with it then that's on them that's not on us like and if they're not going to support it then they're not like we don't want them in our life anyway so yeah that's... and then i decided to tell my mum because i thought if everyone out around the school knows then my sister's going to find out my mum's going to find out so i remember the phone call with my mum i literally rung her up um, and I was like, Mum, don't be mad at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember saying that when I was pregnant. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Mum, don't be mad at me. And then I was like, obviously, and then I'd explained like what we do. And she was like, oh, I would have done it when you were, when I was, if I was your age and I had a body like you. Like she just went for it. She just didn't even care. So then I had done the same with my sister and I rang my sister up and told her what we'd done. And she sort of threw a few questions out there like, oh, are you really that hard up that you're going to, that I would do that? But then she just was like, oh, no, I love you for, for you. And and that's not, nothing's going to change my mind. So I was like, oh, brilliant. Like, this is good. Like, I think we went around to see them after that, didn't we? Or, no, no, I don't we think we've never since. seen them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I thought, okay, my family are good. Everyone's good. Well, our friends are good. All our like, friends are yeah. good. Like, so couple of months went by. Well, another another month or so went by, but then the school then found it, didn't they? Like, the parents oh, yeah. of the school, didn't so they? So I personally think that one of, like, someone who's close to me told their other half, which their other half told someone who is at the school, and then that spread like wildfire in the school playground. Yeah. We then had um, one of the parents from the school oh, yeah. Got post this. on um, social media, basically just, like, digging Jess out. Like, Literally. Um, Horrible. Yeah, going in like... Like telling me I had a disgusting body, literally belittling me to the utmost. Like, but she hadn't, it hadn't named Jess. She, had, she hadn't put Jess's name in it, but it was so obvious it was that it was so, about yeah, Jess it because so it, it, it referenced doing what we did. and She we, just felt like she had to out it on Facebook of how disgusted she was with what, what me and my husband were doing. Yeah, um, and even to the point, you know, what, what really sort of threw me was that given that we were doing it together, um, we'd seen the Facebook posts this night and we was in bed, so obviously we're messaging back on the posts and this person is, is, is launching an attack on Jess, but when I would respond or when I would comment as myself, Mike, um, using my, you know, my own Facebook, she was like, I don't care what you do, it's about what Jess does. And it's like, well, hold on a minute, we're doing, like, this, we're doing together. this together. It's not like... <laughs> I Just because I'm a woman, like, I think that with this, in, like, with this, like, 
just because like, I'm a woman, I get so much backlash from it than you. Yeah. Which is really awful. We shouldn't be living in the world where women can't be sexual and men can be. Be who they want to be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But. So, so yeah, that was quite a... So me being me, I just was like literally posting the link on the... In the end, I just was like posting the link. The Paul Hub link. I literally posted about 50 times. Yeah. I was like, right guys, she thinks I've got a disgusting body, check it out yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally that would spread like... I would hate to be it. horrible, but she isn't an oil painting. No. So yeah, that would obviously spread like wildfire oh, across the... the, the the, the school, school yeah. playground again obviously when we then go and pick up the kids so i literally remember the day that day so then i knew that i had to walk into the playground and everyone was going to know what we done yeah so i have a thought well i can go two ways about this i can get mike just pick the kids up and just like not even go there or i can just literally walk in with my head held up high and just throw out Jess style which I'd always do so that was the option I took and we rocked it together didn't we yeah yeah literally head held high walked into school everyone was dead silent it felt like a pin could drop in the playground yeah it really felt like there'd be like tumbleweed going across the playground because yeah, everyone just stopped talking turned their heads broke their necks to turn their heads yeah. it um, was to watch so funny in. like literally I got so many messages after that from mums at school saying Oh my god! Like you're inspired. You're an inspiration. Like literally, like go you. Like because I did not give a flying beep. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so yeah, that that went down. How that went down. Um, so at this point, everyone everyone knew. You know, everyone who was close to us knew. So yeah. So yeah. literally, after about a month or two after. Everything Jess had spoke to her sister and everything had come out across the playground and everything else. My sister sent me a lovely long message telling me how she didn't want to support it. She didn't want it to be around her children. Who were one and two. Who were one and two. She didn't agree with it. And when I stop, then I can talk to her again. Yeah. <laughs> so I messaged her back saying, okay. That was literally the message she got back. And for, for someone who's um, threw me out of her life and rung me back again, reeled me back again, I, I, I had enough by that point. So for me, it was just an okay, if you don't wanna, if you don't want to be there, then you know, you're not paying my bills, so yeah. you can go away. <laughs> and it's not gonna affect your children in slice. They live about an hour and a half away from us. Yeah, probably it's almost two like hours away there. Yeah. And it's, I think most of the point, yeah, they said that they didn't want to around their kids and it's, it's their opinion to not support it and that's entirely on, on them and that, you know, we don't, we don't care if they don't support it because it's not going to change what we do or stop us doing from what we do. But it was, I think it was more along the lines because they said that they, she, she didn't want it around the kids. I think, well, they're, they're one and two. What are they, what are they, what are you showing them? Yeah. You know, and what are you expecting us to do when we come and see you? Like, yeah. we're it's not like going to rock up with dildos in our bags. People just suddenly think and, that we just change as people. Like, yeah. we're just still exactly the same people. So it was more like, I didn't quite get that, that start on point on it, that, you know, that you didn't want it around your kids. Fair enough if your kids were 15, 16, 17, but given that they're one and two and, and, and barely walking. Yeah, them, it's going to be a long while until they find yeah, out. They're still watching the old, Peppa Pig. the old news by then. Yeah. Um, and then just the, the fact that she was so supportive at the beginning and was like, I love you, and then suddenly... Did there it complete was, 180, yeah, to be fair. There was, yeah, so who knows? We don't know, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it then moves on to our suspiciousness of how... Mike's family. family. Mike, yeah, Mike's family. Talk about the third person. Um, uh, my family found out. So yeah. So going back. So obviously this. All of this happened in like by June. So you know by the sixth month mark, everybody knew apart from my parents. Um, we thought we had six months. Yeah. But everyone knew by six months. Yeah. And um, so yeah. So we got then approached to do the, the TV show, which was through November uh, and December, and. Um, my brother's birthday was in January of 2020. We'd gone to my brother's birthday party, it was his 30th birthday. Uh, so naturally all my family were gonna be there. And um, so this was in January. So we went to the party, um, having a few drinks, enjoying ourselves. Nothing no, seemed not, any different. Yeah, not knowing that any of my side of the family knew. We all just sat at the table, it was absolutely fine. Yeah, and we then got 
had a few drinks and we spoke to my cousin and we were talking she's in film so yeah, we were talking about she does tv and, and how like we that. got filmed for adult, how we was getting filmed for adults only and what it was like with their people who do the same job as her so we then said to her do you know and she was like what and she had a grin on her face so we knew she knew uh, so like you obviously know like how do you know and her at the time boyfriend had been sent it from someone at work he probably saw it to be fair yeah, i think that's that was, yeah. he's probably more covering his own tracks yeah to be fair that he's not what he's not watching <laughs> porn <laughs> um so that was that was um so she she knew and then we then got talking to my brother's partner after a few drinks she's quite open like she's quite an open book and me and her get on really well so we was at the bar and then we me and her were talking and she was like I was like, oh, have you seen our new, I think we had a new kitchen, kitchen? maybe started or a uh, yeah. bathroom done or something like that. We've done a few things to our house and she was like, and then she knew I'd quit doing semi-permanent makeup as well. And then, um, it sang coming along and I was like, do you know? And she's then turned around and give it, yeah, everybody knows. And I was like, wow, wow. okay, everyone knows. So we had to know, we had to ask how they found out. And so what happened was, Four days before Christmas, so the 21st of December, someone had anonymously emailed my dad, my mum, my brother and my sister um, links to everything. So they sent them the Pornhub links, the OnlyFans links, everything. But not all of them got it, did they? Only no, the, the person who had sent these emails had, had, guessed. had guessed the emails and got two of the emails right. The other two emails were wrong. Um, they all, it was all like first name dot last name at um, then the, the, the internet provider dot co uk. So they'd obviously got my dad's from his personal business um, and then guessed the other three. Got one right, but the other two were wrong. How do you fly? So, so my, my dad and my sister got the email uh, through and they got but all the links. His sister got it first. And then rung the dad, rung your mum and dad and was like, if you get an email from this person, do not open it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they got that email four days before Christmas. We were due to go round to their house for Christmas, like dinner and, you know, stuff like that on the 22nd, the day later, um, which we did. And we didn't even notice anything. Yeah, not one of them said, said anything, anything to us. Not one of them treated us any differently. We didn't know anything. So at this point, we didn't know they had that email, but they'd obviously had it, seen it, opened it, and, and worked out that it was definitely me. Yeah. And um, yeah, not, not so, changed. Not to say yeah. anything, not to ruin Christmas. Because obviously, I think they felt like whoever was doing this was out to ruin Christmas. Um, yeah. I don't think that anyone can say that person wasn't out to ruin Christmas at the point of when they sent that. Yeah, four days before Christmas is a bit like, do you know what I mean? There's there's an ulterior motive there somewhere, surely, because you know that. I, that I think person, very few parents would would I guess you know, you're, I think everyone's initial reaction is to not support someone who does that job. It's a, it's I guess it's a frowned upon line of business, so you would expect parents to be so shocked that their children are in that line of work. So I think that they expected my parents who run small businesses, um, you know, who are still together and, you know, all those kind of things that would dictate, I guess, a really happy family, close-knit family that, you know, would be a real blue, I guess, blue collar, is that the right word? Like family, yeah. like... Um, they really to thought not that expect me it was going to gonna split up the, yeah. the dynamic of the family. So... At the at the party, then obviously going back to also, my party. Also, this person knows that we go. This person would know that we spend a lot of time with your family at Christmas every year. Yeah. So they would know that we were doing that. They also mentioned about the small business and things like that as well, which is like, oh, we hope it doesn't affect small businesses. Um, this you know. person had to know that my family already knew because my family didn't get the emails. They also had to know the whole of Mike's family. They had to know everyone's names. Yeah. They had to know that your dad, what your dad's job was. Yep. It was definitely someone close to us, and at that point, the only person we could think guess, of, it would be. Yeah. If any, if my any, sister. if anyone, <laughs> and it was more because of what they do as line of work. It's quite similar to you know they would have the knowledge to know that email addresses are going to be the same based on what they do for work. Yeah. So we kind of think it's them, but. 
we don't know that proof, but we, yeah, yeah we, we, we can easily guess. We, 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 yeah, we no can one else, guess. no one else has hated what we do as much as what she has hated what we do. Yeah. So going back to my, my brother's party, um, at that point, then was like, right, we're going to have to now mention something to my mum and dad who are there. Like, it's going to have to be said now or never. Like, I've, I've got to talk to them. So I think your dad had gone home at that point, though, hadn't they? My yeah, dad, your dad had gone home. Yeah, my dad had gone home at that point. I think he had a headache or something. Yeah. So he'd gone home. Uh, but my mum was still there and my aunt said, this is about half 11, 12 o'clock at night, wasn't yeah. it, to be fair. Um, so we got over and spoke to my mum and asked her about it. And she was absolutely fine with it. Like, yeah. she like she she was absolutely fine. She said, look, there, we all got the email. Um, she confirmed she was, that. She was a bit shocked at the beginning. Yeah, she, <laughs> she was shocked, as you would be, I guess. Like, yeah, you, you just you don't see, need to see your son's piece on the internet, <laughs> in your inbox. Um, and... She was like, "Look, you know, we don't, we have, any, we don't have any views on it at all. Like, yeah, it was a bit shocking at first, but you're a grown adult. You live on your own. Like, you, you're married. It's, you're married. <laughs> it's, it's you and it's you and Jess. Um, yeah, like, you know, we're, we're 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 comfortable with it. You know, no one's got a problem with it. So that that couldn't have been the best news, really. Is that is that it certainly it certainly saved me a job of telling them like outright. And that, it's just nice that both our parents were supportive. I think with it because if one of us one of them wasn't, it would have been a bit of a shame." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed our um, story on how we got How we got found out, yeah. (laughs) Um, And don't forget to subscribe and... Like this video, leave any comments underneath. Um, Also, if there's anything more you want to see, like anything more you'd like us to... So if you do have any questions um, or anything you'd like to know about, you know, what we do or who we are, um, drop them in the comments below. We're sure to make a YouTube video, over, over, you know, YouTube video of it for you. Um, follow our TikTok, um, Jess and Mike One. Uh, obviously, our OnlyFans link and things like that are all going to be below yeah. our Instagram and things like that. So you can follow us on all the social platforms. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Take care, guys. <laughs> Bye. See you. <ya. laughs>